That is really a very courageous background color on this painting here. Ever since I was in my 20s, I've used the color pink in my paintings. And I love to make paintings with pink backgrounds. I have no idea why pink is one of my favorite colors. I, I've always noticed that another artist who likes pink is Philip Guston. There's always pink in Philip Guston paintings. There's always pink in the late Kirchner paintings, Ernst Ludwig Kirchner. In a lot of <clears throat> other artists' later works, pink comes, but you've been using it from the very beginning, which I think is, is, is great. It's very interesting, you know, when most of the colors we think about, blue, red, green, they're sort of strong, pure colors, but uh, pink is one of the gentle colors that um, you can classify as a color. Mm -hmm. Maybe it has something to do with that. And it's, in a way, balancing the rigidness or sharpness or um, staticism of your shapes of, of the prisons and cells. So it's contradicting that in a way? Perhaps so. You know, um, I'm friendly with the uh, designer um, Karim Rashid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he told me ever since he was a little boy, he loved pink and he only wears pink suits. <laughs> And, you know, the color of pink is a little bit gendered as well. And so when you talk about the sort of rigid structure of the paintings and you combine it with pink, maybe that adds a little bit of complexity. <laughs>